Hey, what's up guys? Jay's Two Cents here, and no, it's not dress up like a road cone day or Caltrans Appreciation Month. I just got done riding my bike for 18 miles prior to making this video, so I just didn't really feel like changing. Ew. Today's video is sponsored by MassDrop, the largest community commerce platform in the world. Head to MassDrop today and suggest something to be dropped. Not like literally drop, but you know, where they bring the price down and stuff. But I also just got back from Portland at the famous PDX land. And yeah, guys, I know there's bigger lands in Europe. I know there's Dreamcast or Dream Tech or whatever it's called in Sweden that's really, really big. But damn it, stop taking the wind out of my sails. It was a cool event and it was my first land party. And it actually became pretty apparent and I learned something very quickly. And that is that many large individuals in one room for three days tends to start to get kind of smelly. Actually, that's, that's not the point I wanted to make at all. But the point I wanted to make was that everybody had some sort of headset because in a loud environment like that, you have to. And it got me thinking, what's the best headset on the market? Well, it very well may be the one that you make. And yes, I know Tech Syndicate already did this video. You gotta, you gotta copy those that are, that are better than you. So one of the more popular videos regarding headsets and gaming headsets and headphones is actually Tech Syndicate's video about the mod mic. And when MassDrop hit me up and said, hey, do you wanna check out the mod mic 4.0? I was like, absolutely, because I'm in the same position a lot of you are. I like good sound and I like good headsets or headphones. The problem is gaming headsets inherently have mediocre sound and terrible mics on them. So what do you do? Well, if you've got your favorite pair of headphones or you've got you know, your, your nice audio file sound and, and you get on your computer and you do PC gaming, usually the experience is a little bit less than desirable, especially when it comes to the microphone department. Now we're gonna be taking a look today at Antlion's ModMic 4.0 and the packaging is actually very, very small and modest. It just has this little cardboard sleeve. It says Antlion on it and you've got this semi-rigid uh, pouch here. When you open it up, it's very, very basic. The mod mic is just kind of chilling in there, all folded up, and then you've got the mic itself right here. Now basically the way this works is it has a pretty decent magnetic uh, little adhesive thing, two of them, that you can mount onto your favorite headphones. Typically they might be something of audiophile grade or better than a gaming headset that you would typically find. And then it's got clips that you can you know, plug the cables to each other and then you have a microphone, a very good quality microphone, hooked up to your favorite headphones. So there's really not a whole lot to say about it other than let's go ahead and get it installed. Um, because it comes with two adapters, I'm actually gonna be putting them on my two favorite headphones. Those being my uh, AKG K7XXs right here. And we're also gonna be putting them on my Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs. Both of these have very different sound signatures. Both of these have very different, these are closed back, these are open back. And we're gonna go ahead and make basically two gaming headsets out of one Ant mic mod, mo, or Antlion Mod Mic 4.0. So let's go ahead and get these things installed. So as I mentioned inside the package, it's pretty basic. You've got the Mod Mic itself right here. It's got a nice little windscreen on there to help uh, Basically, it's like a built-in pop filter. Nice long cord. And then, see here's a nice long cord. Not braided or anything, it's just rubberized. You've got your standard uh, three and a half millimeter jack right there. And then inside this little Ziploc baggie, which is kind of shoved in there. Admittedly, I've already had this thing out of here, but whatever, it's okay. Otherwise, I'd look like a real fool on camera, more so than I already do. But inside here, you've got a few things going on. You have got two of the magnetic adapter mabobbers that you attach to your headphones. And then you have got one, two, three, four, five of these clips that are designed to clip the cord for the mic. Get it, get it on, on screen there, Jay. You're starting to act a lot like, like a Barnacles video here. All right, so you want to, we got five of these clips that you can use to connect the mod mic cord to the headphone jack or cord. That way you don't have it flopping all around there. As you can see here, the adapter is just a magnet on one side with the teeth in there so that you can rotate the mic around up and away or down in front of you. And then it's just an adhesive on one side. Now they do say that the adhesive will work on metals, mesh, plastics, 
wood, but it will not stick to rubberized surfaces. So you wanna keep that in mind. Okay, so I've already taken the adhesive back off of the little adapter there. And we're gonna go ahead and magnetically stick that onto the mod mic itself. So as you can see, it's stuck on right there. And then we are going to basically just stick that uh, kind of in the middle of the ear cup there in a position that we want it to be in. That way in its resting position, it's gonna be kind of in a position that we want it to be in. Now the cool thing about this adapter, it actually sticks on there really, really good. So as you can see, there's our mic. And then we can just rotate that up out of the way. So let me get this in focus here. You can just rotate it. It's now in front of your mouth and rotate it up and out of the way. And there you go. So since we have two adhesive thingamabobbers, we can pop this off and now we can have our second gaming headset. So let's go ahead and do that. So these are my AKG K7XXs also sent over from Massdrop. Dang, I love those guys. I would not have this high-end audio stuff or mid-range audio, depending on how you look at it, without those guys. So make sure you give them a, a, a look. Man, they've really supported this channel. But all right, so once again, I've stuck the adapter here onto the mod mic. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and test what they say about using it with mesh. They say it works with meshed headphones. So I've gone ahead and stuck it on there. And as you can see, boom, there it is. So we can also flip those up and out of the way. Those don't flip up and out of the way as well. They don't go straight up because as you can see the headphones here, they, those stick out, but I can put it up behind me and it's a, mod, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a flexible mic. So we could do that. And then when we're ready to game, Flip that around, if I can, there we go. And just put the mic back where you want it. And it's staying on there, that, that's not going anywhere. That's really stuck on there. So we've got those there. Now we've got basically an AKG K7XS or XX gaming headset. I guess there's only one thing left to do. That's gonna be a, a mic test. Cue up the transition. Transition. Okay, now here we are. We are recording directly to Audacity. We're not gonna be doing any sort of post-processing, no compression, no noise removal, no bass adding, no treble adding, no clarif clarification, high pass filter, none of that stuff. This is exactly as it's coming out of the microphone going into Audacity. Now the levels look pretty good. We're not peaking. Uh, let's see how sensitive it is. Uh, uh. One, two, three, one, two, three. I am recording now. Guys, this is KB46 AM radio. Today's coming out to you at... That was dumb. This is why I don't work in radio. I have no idea how it sounds, though. That's one of the best parts about doing these mic reviews is I'm going to leave it to you guys. I want you guys to tell me how it sounds. Now, I did do a quick playback on it, just like one sentence to make sure it was recording, but I didn't have my headphones on and my speakers were turned down, so I have no idea how it sounds. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a noise floor test. We're going to see how well it actually picks up the background noise. Skunkworks is running. Windows open. You might hear dogs barking. You might hear a baby crying in the background. So let's just go ahead and do a few seconds here of silence. And uh, let's go ahead and see how it sounds. All right, now let's go ahead and do some handling. See how it sounds when you handle it. All right, well, whoa. Looking over there at Audacity, I think it picked up something. Well, there you go, guys. Mod Mic 4.0. Make sure you guys head on over to Mass Drop. Give them a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video by sending this thing on over. Now, they are doing a Mass Drop on this. At least that's the plan. And if there is a drop on this, it will be down in the description. There'll be a link in there. You guys can head on over there. I get no kickback from the drops. All I did was send it over. It gives me content for the channel. It gives you guys something to get a little bit cheaper through MassDrop, which is kind of a neat service where they will broker cheaper prices if enough people sign up to want to buy something. They go to the manufacturer. manufacturer says, yeah, you get 10 people to want to buy this. We'll knock five bucks off or something like that. So it's a good service. I don't know how anyone could go wrong with that. It's completely free to sign up and really... Jerry uses it. I use it. Lots of people use MassDrop. There you go, guys. Mod Mic 4.0. What would you do with it? How do you think it sounds? Sound off in the comments. And yeah, guys, I know that like standalone mics like the Yeti or the Audio Technica AT2020, they're going to sound better, but look at what those are versus what this is. And let's keep the comparisons relevant. All right. I'll see you in the next one. At least that's the idea. I won't see you.
You'll see me. I won't see you. If I see you, then that's really weird. Especially if it's in the video.